What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady. Quick one. Today I want to show you movement to connect four, two, three, five, six chord progression. Okay. Hope you're ready for this one. So this movement is simple. Okay. This movement is simple. You need to learn how to connect from this chord progression to the next chord progression you're going. And to achieve this, to be honest with you, you must know your fretboard. You must know the notes on your fretboard. You know the fretboard is just like your apartment. You know where your toilet is. You know where your bedroom is. You know where your wardrobe is. You know, and so on and so forth. Just, you know, all these things you know in your apartment. The same way you need to know where your notes are on the fretboard. Okay, so if my note is this, if my key is this, the key of the song is already on F. So this is my key, F, and this is my one. Now, this is not the only place I have my one. I have my one here, 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 I have my one here. You know, so I can easily connect from F here to F here to my middle F, first F here that I have on my E string, and I can easily connect to my F I have on my A string. Okay, you need to just know your notes on the fretboard, you need to know how to connect. So, if you're playing to a song, this is not the only place your three is, your third is, you have your third here. So sometimes if I'm playing, I'm on my one, if I'm going to my three, sometimes I ignore the open three I have and I come to this three here. Okay? When I was playing to that song, from here, I connect. My next chord progression is four. I know my four is here, but I choose to play this four because of the movement I want to play. You can't do this movement if you are not open to the notes on your fretboard, on your bass guitar. If you are not open to the notes on your bass guitar, you can't take this movement. You must study your fretboard, okay? Do exercises, exercises that will help you study your fretboard. Anything you're practicing here, try to practice it in the middle, try to practice it up here. So if I have my F here, I'm playing do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, do. This is my F again. Okay, so just learn how to connect your scale, your major scale. Do re mi fa so la ti 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 you know, learn how to connect, learn how to practice your skill this way. Don't just stay here and you're just playing. You will get used to the notes there only. Okay? So that is it. Now, the song progression, key of the song is on F. And the song progression is... Da, one, da, 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 four. Then you go to two. After your two, you're going to five. After your five, you're going to three. Three to six. Six to two again. Then two to five. Then five to your one. That is it. That is the song. Now, what I did from one connecting to my four was this. You know, after my one, I'm going to four. That's the next chord progression. So from my one, I did this. I didn't play this four. I took some move. Okay, to my four. Now, also note this. That you don't just take some move, you don't just pick notes and just play, okay? You need to try to um, create notes that matches that chord progression you're going. That's another thing. That's another work, 
okay you don't just choose note and say okay i'm going to this place and let me just play anything no choice of note matters you know to that chord progression you're going so i decide to do this it's not as if there are no other movements or passing notes that i will play to connect to the four chord it's not as if there are no other you understand but i choose to do just this so your choice of note matters you can simply do this if you're going to your four chord okay i played one one four you can simply do that so that was what i did I played my one flat two two. Then I played the six. Then I played the one. Then the one again. Then I dropped to the four. That's it. Going to my two because after my four is my two. The chord progression. When I did going to my two, I did this. You hear that um, dynamic there? Hammer on pull up. That is it. Now, the movement started from the three. Then, four. Hammer on on the four and pull off. Then I play the one. Then I play the six. Then I play the two. Then, five. Six two. Now the next movement I did. Now you need to understand. You need to understand number system. Okay. You need to understand your number system. Okay. Your do is still your one. Your re is your two. Your three is your me. Your four is your fa. Your so. Your five is your saw. <laughs> okay, your la is your six. And your T is your seven. Then your one. You need to understand number system. So music has gone beyond do. Your fa. Go to saw. You know, nobody will understand what you're saying on stage. People won't understand what you're saying on stage. So it's good to use um, the number sign. You know, it helps. The next chord progression they play there is after your two, you're going to five. That's the next chord progression. So for, on the five, I did. That's a simple walk down to five. That's a simple walk down to five. So I started from one, two, five, six, two, five. One, two, five, six, two, five. And I drop on my five. The techniques there. Hammer on, hammer on. Okay, that was it. Now, after the five, they are going to three. The three chord. That is the next chord progression they went. Okay? From your one to four, two, five. Then three. So the next chord progression is three. So on the three, I did this um, movement is commonly used on the three chord anytime, any day. On any song, it will work. This movement. Okay. Five, six, five, four, three. Now that was the movement I did on the three, but I didn't end there. Then I did. I still went to the three because you know why? I still have my time. That was what I did. So five, six, five, four, three. Then one, five, one, five, four, three. And I slide to the third, to the three. One, five, four, three. That's it. Because I still have time. 
on the matter, I'm meant to just be on that three, the low three here on the E string. I will just be waiting until they are going to six. Okay, five, six, five, four, three, one, five, four, three. Then from the three, you know, after the three chord, they are going to the six chord. Now from the three, the movement I did on the three, three chord, I'll try as much as possible to link it to the six chord, which is my next chord progression on that song. Okay, so I did this. Yeah. That was what I did. What I did on the six chord, I did five, flat six, six. Then I climbed down. This says my three. If this is my three, this is my one, seven, six. I started from the five. Don't get confused. This is my one, 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 two, three, four, five. Okay? So I started from my five. Five, flat six, six. Then I climb to three. Then I climb to one. Then seven, six. Then I did six, three, flat seven, six. Six, three, flat seven, six. The six again. So from the six, they went back to the two chord again. Then on the two chord, I did a movement again. Okay. Two, six, two, three, two, six, four, three, two. Then I drop on the five. Five is the last chord. Then we end. Okay. Let me take everything again from the top. Don't forget the key of the song is on F. guys hope you got one or two things from this movement this movement can work on any song you're playing to yes just be creative about the moves okay if you're new to this channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave you can afford to miss new videos i upload every week hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you need private lessons from me every information is right there in the description below okay chat me via whatsapp send me an email indicating you want to join my zoom private lesson i will see you in my next video bye